Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial from sound for more It's Leo speaking and today we are going to continue our journey in learning how to use Groove Rider GR16 from Jim Audio. And today in particular, we are going to focus on parts. In the previous video, I talked about patterns. Now it's time to delve into parts. Before I continue, please, I'd like to rem remind um, my viewers to subscribe. It's really important. It helps with building the channel to gain more views and the for more tutorials, videos, and also giveaways. But let's start. So in the previous video, I talked about patterns. Now we are talking about parts. There are 16 parts. We are in keys mode at the moment. Let's go to trigger. And as you can see here now, you have um, uh, 16 parts, which represent the 16 parts. You can see here a red, um, light on which is signaling to you the part number one is selected you can also see here part number one and it tells you also what synthesis have been assigned in this case it is oscillator and the type of wave is so you can of course in this trigger mode click on the second part it will highlight that part as selected so it moves to that part or you can use this arrow here left and right to move between different parts like so okay if you are in another mode like keys where it shows you the keys on the keyboard according to the scale selected you can still see here that the second part is selecting it says through this red light and if you want to continue to play notes on that particular part but Sorry, if you want to continue to to play notes, but you want to change the part without leaving that view, click and hold on on a mode, like in this case, keys. I know it will select here um, and the keys, but um, forget about that for a moment. Click and hold, and then select um, another part. In this case, I used my finger to select part, uh, part number nine, which I have a sample associated to it, okay? If I go back to trigger, you can see part number nine had the kick, but we could select, for example, part number 10 or part number 13, where there is an instrument. And again, you see the instrument here, vibraphone on the menu. Now let's select again part number one. Let's go to keys. And what I wanted to show you as well very quickly is that you have, first of all, octave here. So you can go up an octave or down an octave. Okay, very important. The other thing as well, you can see the keys here on the keyboard uh, represent the an ionic scale. If you want to change that, click here for a menu, goes to pattern, and then here you find a, let's do it from the beginning, you can see that, you scroll down, you find the key and also the scale. So click to select the scale, then click again to show all the other scales. Let's select, uh, for example, uh, minor blues that I really like. What I really also like is that for the part is selected in this keyboard mode, in the keys mode, you have only keys representing the scale. So you can't make a mistake. When you play, you're always in that scale. So it's not highlighting or graying out, for example, the keys that are, or, or sorry, or the notes that are not part of that scale, which I think is really nice. The other thing as well, if you go to trigger mode, when you click on a part, it, it will sample that part, right? And the note that it plays is determined by the scale. In this case, sorry, by the keys associated here to the scale. So if I press part number one, you hear a C because the key is selected to C. If you click to select the key and, and click again and change it to D, it will play a D now if you press on that part. And indeed, if you go back to case mode, you see it starts from a D, in this case, D4. Let's go back to C. Right. The other thing I wanted also to mention is that each part is not stereo. It becomes stereo as you go through insert effects and through master effect, for example, when you add movement to a pun or if you select part here, you can also adjust your stereo delay again to make it stereo. Okay, that's just to remember. Each part uh, can go up to a maximum of 
128 steps, both for notes and also for automation. That's in, it's important to remember. You have 16 steps per bar and you have a maximum of up to eight bars, which make 128 steps. Okay, let's exit that menu. The other thing I wanted to show you now is um, what you can play in that part. Well, you can select different type of engine. So if you click on Wave here, at the moment we have selected Oscillator and the waveform is selected so, but you can change that. You can do, go for Pulse, Triangle, Sign plus FM, I mean, there is a huge selection here. I know this is a groove box, but gosh, look how many different type of waveforms you have for that oscillator. And of course, you can have also noise. Chip noise. Resonant noise. So really, really massive. And the other thing you can do is, if you click here on preset, you can go to a factory bank and take some preset from there. Even, even better. So you can click here where it says back to wave, okay, to go back to the previous screen. So that's one type of synthesis, okay? And depending on what you select here as well, you can see that the parameters under the oscillator will change. So you normally have a pitch, in this case, pulse width and the tuning, but depending on what you select, for example, triangle here, you can adjust the phase on the second dial now. So remember that these will change accordingly. So you have these um, oscillator synthesis that you can select for a part, or you can go by wavetables, which is really nice. Right, you click on that, and um, let's click on wave again to exit, and let's play. And you can change the wave position now. Really, really nice. So let's go back to Wave. You can have um, a different uh, drum sample. Okay, which is really nice. You can have also some instrument. I showed you some earlier, which look at the list. It, it, it's fantastic. You have so many instrument. Really, really nice. And of course, you can go to samples here. You have some uh, samples as well, which you can uh, directly play. Or you can click open. You can say open sample, or you can import from audio share. So let's click on open sample. You always have to remember to click twice, one to select the menu item, and then again to uh, to action on that. And let's say that we bring in this crash one. And I open the sample. So really, really nice. Now, let's go back to our oscillator synthesis, and uh, we select a wave or type uh, uh, so, which is great. So let's do that and uh, let's exit clicking on wave. So you have your oscillator mode, your engine mode. Okay. And depending on what you selected, it will change the different parameters on the dials. Then for each of the part, you can also have a filter. So you click on the type, you choose a particular filter, you come out, come out from there, you, then you can adjust the cutoff. Resonance. And how much the envelope. Uh, from this section will influence and a cutoff, really nice. You can also have a, a modulator for each part, which is even better. Click on it, and then let's say that we want to go for pitch LFO, which you can really hear that. We can adjust the depth, the speed, and you can have a support amount in this case, but I will explain these controls later on in, in a proper tutorial, a proper video, but for now, Glide. So really, really nice. And also for each part, you can have uh, an insert effect. 
you can click on type here you can choose your insert effect and one that you want to to play with okay and then you need to activate it as well and then you can adjust the intensity and of course you have also your sand effect Okay, I hope um, you enjoyed this introduction on how parts um, work inside Groove Rider GR16, and uh, we will continue our journey in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.